I stopped by our next Airbnb property. I just kind of wanted to check on the progress and see how things were going. Um, so far, so good. I've only walked into the kitchen now. So the cabinets are getting painted. The, the teal color that is going to be kind of like, you know, farmhouse cool, but like with a modern edge because not everything is going to be um, new in here. And I, I really had to keep a tight budget on this one in order to make it work for an Airbnb. So I'm trying to use as much as I can that's already here, which is why I kept the cabinets because overall they were in decent shape. So the new tile is in. I'm excited about that. All of this paneling, um, you know, I'm like a huge fan of painting the trim and the windows and all of that white in houses typically when it's wood. Um, I'm doing something different here, which I'm very excited to see how it's going to go. I'm doing all of the trim and paneling in like a dark kind of charcoal gray color. Again, I just want this house to have like a really unique feel to it and all of those things that aren't so normal. You know, certainly you'll see it on Pinterest and, and different ideas, but I'm going a little bit non-traditional with this house just to kind of give it that funky flair that makes people go, oh, this is a really cool house. I wouldn't have thought to do that, but it looks really good here. So I'm excited to kind of go check out the rest of the house and see what it looks like. So I went with kind of a really light blue in this um, room and it's also in the kitchen. It's a little bit darker than I was anticipating, but I can still work with it. I, I, I like it. It's soft. It's inviting. It's comfortable. Um, some of the trim is painted gray. I'm seeing that that looks really good with that color blue. So, oh, there's some more gray over here. So let's see how this looks yep we've got the gray i like that i like that combination a lot that looks really cool Let's see how the bathroom looks all right so i carried that same tile into here Ooh, this kind of came out a little purpley i that was supposed to be more of a gray tone and it definitely came out a little purpley um since they haven't done the second coat um i may take a picture of that and have them do another coat on top of it that's not so purpley because in this light and that's the funny thing about um paint is in different lights it's going to take on different tones so even though like i really compared it to other grays in the in the color wheel or the color swatches that i have it did look more of a, a true gray but if you really want to get a good feel for what the color is going to look like you know either get one of those little samples of it and you can actually paint on the walls or um, you know, bring your paint swatch right here. I actually picked this out at my office, not at on site. And it does definitely go a little purple. Let me shine this light on it. So, so over there, when I shine the light on it, it's not as purple, which is is better. But it doesn't. It still doesn't have this more kind of. Um, Oh, what's that new word? Oh, grige. Everybody's using that new word, grige, which is like a combination of gray and beige together, um, which is definitely what this, I, I was hoping to go for more of like the charcoal tone that you see in the tile here, but I didn't quite nail it. So um, I probably will have them, especially because they haven't finished it. You know, they've skim coated everything in it and it has to do another coat. When I put my new, co new color on it, um, it's going to be similar, but just not as dark. So hopefully they won't have to do it multiple times to cover it. I think I'll be okay. Um, but I definitely want to do that because that's definitely a little purplish and I was not going for the purple tones in this house. All right. I'm really, really, really digging the gray trim though. The gray trim is really wicked cool. So in here I did this kind of light pink, which anybody that knows me knows I am not a fan of pink. It is probably one of my least favorite colors. Um, but I'm going to pair it with some really cool, like, um, really rustic shutters and, and that, that are going to complement that. And this room is going to have a very kind of romantic feel to it. There's like a chandelier um, ceiling fan going in it. But it's, it's supposed to be kind of farmhouse romantic. So it, it is pinkish, but it's like a subtle pink. And um, there's two of these walls that are also going to get... Uh, like a brick wallpaper and the brick wallpaper had a little bit of a pink tone to it so it is a little bit more on the feminine side than I would normally do in an Airbnb but again I want this house to really like say wow when people stay here so I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it and see how it turns out all right <clears throat> so this room this room is gonna be my pride and joy because this room is what gets that wicked cool truck bed and I'm like so stoked to get it. I just, I just contacted the guy that's making it from Etsy and um, he, he said that it's uh, been built and it's in the sanding process. So he's gonna be calling me probably within the next week to two weeks um, to see what color I want it painted. So I'm 
so freaking excited to get that truck bed because that's definitely like such a cool statement piece that I'm just, I'm super excited about it. So here's one of my questions though, as I'm walking through this house, why aren't any contractors here today? It's a Tuesday. There should be contractors here working on this. You know, part of, part of uh, owning a property and getting it done qu quickly is, you know, half the battle. Time is money, so I'm wondering why there aren't guys on this job right now. I guess it is it is 111, so you know maybe they're on lunch. Um, that better be their excuse, but you can bet your bottom dollar I'm going to be talking to my project manager to see what the deal is. So here's the other thing that I wanted to talk about here. I wonder if there's a light out here. Let's see. All right. So this garage is getting quite full. Oh, here's the wood that's going to go up on the wall. So this is the, this is the, they're actually panels um, and they do have a little bit of texture to them, which is really cool. So that's gonna be on uh, the back wall of where that truck bed is going. So yeah, I mean, it doesn't have like the exact same feel as putting real wood on the wall, but it's still gonna give me the look I'm going for without the, um, oh, what's the word? Without the risk factor of somebody getting splinters on it or something like that. So that bed that bed really busted my budget though on here but again it's that statement piece so i've really had to work hard on trying to find ways to um <laughs> get other things for cheaper because that but that bed i think was twenty three hundred dollars to have it done which i normally would spend maybe about five hundred dollars on a bed so i've i've really had to crunch my budget so one of the things <coughs> is that I have been on Marketplace, Facebook Marketplace, trying to find deals. Normally I just go on Wayfair, or Amazon, or Home Depot and, and just get stuff new and have it shipped to the house and get it put together. But in this house, since it does kind of have that farmhouse feel to it, I can get away with um, things that are a little more rustic feeling. So this table, it actually comes with two benches and then it comes with a stack of chairs. Um, that table I got for 500 bucks, and that table, if I bought it new, would probably be closer to a thousand, maybe 800 to a thousand. Um, these were redone, and um, my husband loves me. We were we were actually looking at a house the other night, Friday, uh, on our date night of all nights. Um, <clears throat> if any of you watch us, you know that's pretty pretty much of a common theme with us. Is he likes to take me to restaurants that are very near houses we have to look at. So we were about an hour away. Um, looking at a house and this furniture um, was at a house about 15 minutes away from that so my husband does not like to do Glenn does not like to do manual labor at all <laughs> like he likes to write checks for stuff and I do too but again I'm trying to get this house done on a really really slim budget so I talked him into stopping at this house and taking all the car seats out and loading up the car with furniture so um, this I yeah you know, I got these three pieces a coffee table and two end tables for $200 um, and new, this stuff probably would have cost me about $600. So good savings there and I'm trying to find all the deals I can get um, because I have to have this house coming on budget. All right, let's take a look. Oh, they have the ship lap up. Oh, this looks great. Yay. So the cool thing about this area is I'm actually having like a built-in bed, twin bed put on either side. Um, and you know, we'll have to market that this, this room isn't gonna be necessarily for adults because you know, I'm, I'm 5'4 and <laughs> this isn't much taller than I am. So this is maybe, you know, uh, I don't know, 5'8 or something like that at its highest point. So we're gonna market this more as a, a kid's bedroom. Um, but with the built-in beds, you know, they won't take up additional room and then we'll put like a little nightstand in front of the window with a lamp on it and whatever. Um, so yeah, this is going to be a really cool kind of built-in kind of fort feeling for the beds. So I'm excited to see all that come together too.